it was, it was an incredible country. Like, it's truly amazing. I, I can't wait to go back, you know. And I go back, I only just go for a month, and I'm going to dedicate that month to just no work, just, and I get my bull tar, go back up for, a, for another chamois. Like, that was, I've never had an experience like that before in my life. That was awesome, sort of 1,700 feet up. You know, the wind's blowing at like 100 miles an hour. Will Thompson is talking about New Zealand, a land of plenty as far as hunters are concerned. He spent six months there with his girlfriend and life was perfect. The guy that we were kind of staying with and working for was like, right, well, you need to go out and you need to buy some bullets. You're gonna, you know, your job is gonna be, I want a pig or a deer every three days to feed everyone, you gotta look after everyone, that's gonna be your job. And I was literally like, as a kid, you're like, oh, in an apocalypse situation, I reckon I'd be very well equipped for this. My best, I got a 14 point stag. I was supposed to go for a bull tar, but then lockdown happened. So we were due to come home on the 6th of April. And then world events obviously started again going pretty quickly. So we decided we'd try and get back a bit sooner, but obviously having the rifle with me made it trickier to get home. Will wasn't aware how tricky until they managed to get an evacuation flight to Frankfurt. Once in Germany, he was told Lufthansa wouldn't let him take his gun because Heathrow barred them and the gun was confiscated because he didn't have a European firearms license. I took my scope off my rifle because it's worth far more than my rifle was and I just thought, well, you know, do you know what I mean? Like if the absolute worst comes to the worst, I, I like my rifle, but if it gets destroyed, it gets destroyed. At least I've got my scope. After a month of dealing with three companies who said they could help but didn't, Will turned to social media. Well, I think my original post was just asking if anyone had any advice on, on sort of freighting a rifle from Frankfurt back home, which is where Frederick then got in touch. I, I heard about Will's story via, via Facebook. I think it was on um, Deer Stalking UK or one of the Facebook pages. Uh, kind of cry out for help. They confiscated my rifle in Germany. What can I do? I've been in touch with various companies, uh, shipping companies, and they wouldn't do anything. And um, then I said, well, I'm I'm German. I've got both an RFD in the UK and my, my German hunting and, and weapon licenses. I can I can only try. And that's how we got the ball rolling. Frederick was in Germany over the weekend and flew back from Frankfurt on Monday. With his firearms licenses, he could borrow the rifle and bring it back to England. But it took some organising. So I've just arrived to Frankfurt Airport to pick up that rifle. Wish me luck. So we need to manage German customs, Lufthansa, English customs, and somehow try to get that over. It's really a bit of, of no man's land. I mean, in, in Germany, I'm allowed to borrow a rifle for four weeks on, on my Jagdschein and my, my German um, firearms license. But over here, am I allowed to import the rifle or transport it for him on the RFD? So I just wanted to make double, double sure, so to say, with firearms licensing that I was allowed to do it. But to be fair, everyone was super helpful and nobody was really a, a problem or anything. Um, everyone really wanted to help and they all understood that these are special circumstances. So we need to kind of uh, help each other and make sure we get the rifle back okay. Very easy, only a bit of an issue because Will has the keys and I had to break it open in order for them to check the numbers. Well, it was very surreal arriving at Heathrow today and kind of walking into the arrivals terminals and I obviously sent him a message saying what I was wearing but as soon as I walked in I saw a guy and I recognised my, my travel case, my flight case for my rifle on his trolley and made a beeline for him. So finally reunited. The culprit's here on the table. <laughs> Will's got it back. What do you have to say? I'm very excited. Uh, very thankful to Frederick for helping me get it back. Uh, I actually never thought I was going to see it again. Um, so this is happy days. You know, it restores your kind of faith in humanity that someone would be so kind and kind of go out of their way to help someone. Especially when, with the nature of things like that, all you ever read about is so sort of people stealing pensioners' savings or that. Do you know what I mean? So it was so nice for someone to be so genuine 